Tonight, the latest on repairs after today's huge storms. Duke Power has been restored to all but about 400 customers tonight. At one point today, 19,000 were without power. Nine on your side reporter Natasha Williams joins us with more on the repairs. Natasha? When we were out on Reading Road, Carol, we counted about 12 Duke Energy trucks all busy repairing damage caused by the storm. Duke Energy is very busy along this stretch of Reading Road. Gail Ruffin knows why the crews are here all too well. This morning around 9, got a um, lot of rain and high winds. A tree was just came down across Reading Road, and we lost power. We've not had any power since. This is her third go around with a power outage this week. The street in front of us, Scottwood, will have power always, and we're all, you know, Ours goes up routinely. Just not being able to be comfortable in your own home because you don't have no air conditioning. There ain't no wind blowing for real. Your food going bad in the refrigerator. Christina Wynn came home to a dark and warm home, and Thursday night she's going to her mother's home. She also had another power outage earlier in the week. She's had enough, but. I try to stay positive because that tree could have been on me. It could have landed on my house. I'm still safe. I'm secure. That's all that matters. Ruffin agrees her power outages usually don't last this long, but she says the peace and quiet has been good. It was nice not having the TV on. <laughs> now, of course, she means after she watches Nine News. Now, we just checked with Gail Ruffin, and she told us her power came back on at about 8.40 tonight. So good news for many who lost their power for much of the day. She did get a chance to watch the news with us tonight. Back to you, Gail. All right, thanks a lot. Such a relief when it comes mm -hmm. back.